Okay, back at it. <clears throat> Day three of our shed trip, shed fest. Shed fest, annual trip in Arizona. It's been good so far. We've hit, uh, <clears throat> and we've hit some pockets that nobody's hit in a while, and it's been pretty cool. Picked up a bunch yesterday, nothing great big, but it's been a blast. We picked up a bunch of raghorns. We got into raghorn ridge, I guess. Um, but uh, picking up sheds is fun. We'll see uh, how today goes. We're gonna hit a little bit different spot. Um, probably a little bit lower in elevation. So we'll see, you know, what kind of tracks and what kind of sheds are there. If if nothing nothing's there in the first couple hours, we'll we'll move back. Um, Back a little bit higher and a couple of ridges over, so we'll see. Okay, Should be fun. finally broke the ice here. First one of the day. We're, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour in. Found this guy it's laying cold. under this log. It's chalky, raggy, but where there's one, there's more, I guess. Uh, trying a new area today, and it's kind of. Sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. So we're we are kind of really eager to find something. So it's day three, six. day three, rag six. So it's a good area, just kind of in these pines. So day three, uh, CJ's found two. So we knew, you know, we know they're in here, but I don't. We haven't found any browns yet. But I mean, this thing is just so hidden. Nice six point bowl that's a good it's a good bowl right there got a little devil's point there it's cool and then i looked right over here and there's another raghorn not even 15 yards away been here a while too but got even buried it broke off a little bit sweet two on the board for the day so far about an hour and a half into it maybe three miles in two miles in somewhere around there all right so i was just going back down to get some more some more of the horns that i had left down here and i came around this bush it's gonna be cj up top and this big boy with character was laying right there he came right around the corner Devil's point two. All right, so it's about two o'clock. <clears throat> I can't pack any more sheds. CJ's got, I think, seven and one of mine, and I've got just a pack full of sheds. So we're gonna move out of this area. We got about two miles. It's gonna be the longest two miles. I think this is one of the heaviest my packs ever been. These are some big horns. So I'm just gonna hike back out of here. Go to the truck. Load up. Maybe try an afternoon hike. I'll uh, see how bad this hike is on the way back. But pretty excited. Found a really good horn and some sets, so pretty sweet. Just got a long hike out. We're worn out. We're on our way back to the truck. I've got eight on my pack. Brian has seven on his. The only thing that's gonna motivate me the rest of the way it's my mountain ops bro great value great mountain ops what what flavor of the mountain ops you got right now great that's a great that's a great one that actually is one of my favorites it's purple drink <laughs> it's just, you show me how you do it it's pretty easy just put it in there <laughs> Give it the old mountain op shake. Oh, it's gonna it's be so purple drink. So tasty. We're hydrated. Mountain ops are ready to hike the rest of this hill. I don't think 
it is. It's a side by side set. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Looks hard white. Got a little devil tine. Here's the view from the bottom. There's that one. And that one. What a find. End of the day. Sweet. Pumped. Day four. Uh, kind of got a late start today because we were worn out. And we've been hiking for a little bit. It's 12.30 and we finally found our first one. Rag City. Rag, Rag City. We're back in the Raghorns. And it's so chalky. But cool. day four, we probably got a half day, maybe eight hours, eight solid hours. Yeah. To get through the, Let's our see last one. We can do try to pick up a few. Nice. All right. Been hiking a while. We haven't been here in a few years, so we weren't really sure, but we did pretty well last time. But pretty cool. Six point brown on the ground. All right, it's middle of the day. I uh, found a brown earlier, and I've been trying to get up on top of this ridge and work the ridge line. And I've been going through this this oak, and it is just—I mean, I'm—it's just ripped my arms up pretty good on both sides. I mean, I don't know if you can kind of see, but it's got me pretty good. But it finally paid off. I don't even know how. These bulls sometimes make it through this stuff, but they love this thick, nasty stuff. And uh, let me see if I can flip this around. So there's the there's the brown. I mean, in the middle of this oak. And so I've been pounding through this. It's like a five point, a busted. Yeah, that's a good horn. Busted a second, but I mean, it's just they they do love this stuff. It's really thick and it's brutal to get through, but Sometimes they can pay off, but I feel pretty lucky actually to find a brown in here <laughs> I found some pretty I found some browns today It's been great What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so worn out. Uh, You're just fumbling over your words. I am because I'm so tired. <laughs> we really have put on a lot, a lot of miles. Look at the background there. It's great. We found a lot of sheds, but we have, in all honesty, we work really hard for them. We've been a lot of fun memories together and look for more years down the road to possibly beat this, but it's really going to be hard. I think. Our truck's gonna show how big our pile is. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Yes, it is. All right, stay tuned. Stay tuned. For 2019. <laughs>